Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, my name is Sandelica. Today I'm gonna do another bag video. I have a few of these and this is basically me showing you guys some alternative for the luxury high-end designer bags. So if you don't want to splurge on the you know, designer option. I'm gonna give you some options that is quite similar, have the similar style, but have a better price tag. And if this is the first time here, oh, very welcome. My name is Angelic, as I said. And on this channel, um, I do <laughs> makeup content, I do vlogs, I do fashion related videos like this. I love bag videos. As I said, I have, did I say? I don't know. I have a few of these videos from before as well. And just gonna tell you guys, usually I upload three videos a week, but I have been sick. I'm actually sick right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I was lying in bed for one and a half day, just lying in bed <laughs> with fever and you know. Now I feel a little bit better, but I still feel like, well, not 100%. So I will not have three videos this week. I don't know when this is coming up, if it's on Monday or Wednesday or, but just so you know. And yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> but I wanna talk about bags today. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna scooch so I can put up some pictures. So the first bag I'm gonna talk about is the Chanel 19 in Tweed. And this kind of pink. I mean, I love the Chanel 19. The Chanel 19 in tweed is my dream bag. I have gone from like a classic flap that that would be maybe a good option for a dream bag, but I think the Chanel 19 is more like a wearable bag that is like, uh, I don't know, you know, very casual bag. So yeah, uh, so my dream bag is the Chanel 19 in tweed, but in black, so if I could just choose one because they are super expensive, it would be like a classic black. But this one is stunning. This is in pink, and yeah, as you all know, Chanel price increases are crazy. They just go up and up and up, so I try to find. This is not available right now, this color, but they come out every season. They come out with new Chanel 19 bags, and also tweed and fabric. So when I looked at the website, I could see one in tweed uh, that is available right now. And all the prices, I'm gonna tell you, has been in Swedish, Swedish crowns. So I have just converted them to US dollars or euros. So it's not like 100% right, but yeah, you get an idea, hopefully. Okay, the Chanel bag in tweed, if you wanna buy it in store, it would be around 6,844 US dollars. That's quite a lot, guys. That is so much for a bag, and I know that the, all the Chanel lovers that owns a lot of Chanel bags, they also say this is insane, uh, the price increases. Uh, the bags are not worth the price tag, but I do love the design, I love the big CC, uh, and I love the tweed. I love like the chain and you know, the style of the bag, but I found something that is quite similar, I would say. This is the bag. So this is from a brand called Bex Sødergaard. I don't know, Bex uh, I don't know what kind of brand this is. Maybe I should have looked it up. <laughs> if it's, it feels like it could be Danish Sødergaard. It could be Swedish as well, but I don't think so. Anyways, here's the bag. Doesn't this look very similar? Like the actual bag with the quilting and the fabric. Like the chain is very, very thin though. I would love if this would have been like a very thick, thick chain. But I do think you actually can remove the chain. If you can remove it, you can actually put like a very thick, chain that you can buy on Amazon or wherever because uh, I have a lot of these like chains that I put on all my bags that has like detachable straps that we can just pull it off and put that on and it makes the bag looks like a new bag because you can always do that and I feel like with this bag with a very thick uh, chain that will look so, so good, you guys. You don't have the CC, obviously, because it's not a Chanel bag, but you can see it's quite similar. 
and I really, I really, really love it actually. Okay, and now we have another beautiful, very expensive bag from Louis Vuitton. It's the Capucine. This is the Capucine Mini, and they are so beautiful. The quality is supposed to be amazing, and look at this. This is so, so stunning. It's elegant, it's classic, it's, it's just like perfection, and yeah. It is a very classic shape, I would say. I don't know, but it feels like it's never going out of style. And you can't see it here, but you can pull the, like the little flap that is, it's put inside the bag like that, but you can put it up and put it on top, like the LV on top of that. And then it looks a little bit like the bag I'm gonna show you. But anyways, this one from Louis Vuitton is retailing for, this is in euros, around 6,195 euros. So 6,000, almost 6,200. It depends all how much it is, but this one specific is, is that price tag. And I have found something that looks very similar actually. If you take the little flap and put it like in the front of the bag that you can do on the capucines. If you know the capucines, you know you can put that and it will look a little bit like this. So I found this brand, Isabel Bernard Paris. I found this brand and oh my God, these, this looks like a capucine bag and it looks so gorgeous. It looks really, really nice. And uh, they have a, this specific bag in different colors. You can see it has some feet under, so, it's very, it looks like it's very well made. I cannot say anything about the quality because I have never tried anything from the brand, but I think it looks gorgeous, guys. I will try to link everything down below what I can found, find, I mean. Uh, this one is 219, so 219 euros. And yeah, I think it's a good option. If you like the style, if you like the classic, now I just took a pink one, but I think it was, uh, there is one probably in black, yellow. They were a lot of colors, but I really love this pink, but really, really pretty bag and a good option for the capucine bag. And now we have a Prada bag. <laughs> this is a tote bag. This is a small, let's see here. What is it? Small Prada symbol embroidered fabric handbag. Oh my God, that is what it says on the website. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is how it looks. You have all seen the, the print. The print has been very popular right now in Prada. And yeah, I think it looks gorgeous. I mean, the triangle print is very, it's, it's very close to the brand. I mean, they always have this triangle and, you know, the Prada logo is in triangle and I think it's gorgeous. I mean, it is out there with the print and if you don't want to splurge, let's see here, this is 3,264 US dollars. If you don't want to splurge on this bag with this print, I have some options for you. I actually have two options with this bag. They are Similar, they are not dupes at all, but they have a similar vibe. The first one is from Sandro. It's this one, Arabesque bag. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that right, but can you see? I mean, you have the triangles. You also have another kind of print there, but you have the tote bag. It looks very, very similar to the Prada one. And this one is 361 US dollars. So 361 US US dollars. So it is definitely a better price for this one. If you are looking for that kind of bag, if you think that is beautiful, for, because sometimes when it comes to these seasonal bags that is not like classic, it will go out of style. You maybe don't want to see this print anymore. You are sick of it. So that's why it could be better to go on a more affordable option <laughs> and try it out. And if you really, really love it, I mean, you can actually splurge on the real deal. But if you want something similar, just to see if like, do I like this? Do I like this after a month? Because that is how it could be. <laughs> like you buy something and then it's like, I'm sick of this. Uh, but I have a one more option for you guys. This is from H&M. So this is the cheapest one. Is this one. 
and it's very similar as well. You don't have the actual re uh, print, but it's a similar print, if you know what I mean. Like, it's a similar print. It's a tote bag. It's very cute. This one is 30 US dollars. So this is the most affordable option today. And I feel like it's a good option. I bought actually the tote bag uh, that is very similar to the book tote uh, with the print, you know, the... I can never... Like, I can never pronounce the torturey, torturey. Oh my god, you know, I can put up a picture here <laughs> with the print, but uh, yeah, I bought that one and I have been loving that one. I had it for vacation, you know, it's perfect when you go to the beach or the pool, just throw everything in there and go. But if you want to buy like the real tote bag from Dior is very very expensive so that is a good option as well so I thought this one looks very similar to the Prada one and yeah let's move on how many bags do we have left we have a few bags left okay I know everyone is crazy with Hermes right now or Hermes uh, all the influencers all the you know, beauty, gyros, and fashion, in, in fashion industry. I mean, they are all crazy about Hermes, and I am not. I am not. This is not, I mean, the Kelly, the the Birkin, I, that is not a dream bag for me. They look really, really good, like the leather, and the craftsmanship, and, you know, heritage. I mean, everything, it's just very, very beautiful, but it's not for me. I don't want to splurge on that kind of bag because it's not my style. And I feel like Hermes has a lot of bags, not these two like the Birkin and the Kelly, but other bags that I don't feel like they don't even look good. And people go crazy about these. I think it's because it's Hermes. They love kind of everything, but I don't think they actually love everything. I don't know. Is this a popular opinion? I don't know. Tell me down below. Are you like me? I mean, some bags look very old, like grandma old, and the style, uh, it's not for me. Anyways, I put up this one because I found a really good alternative for specific this bag. This is like a croc. It's like a wine red with gold hardware. This is a, a Kelly, and a Kelly retails for, I don't, I'm not sure, but I think it starts with 10,000 euros and then it goes up. And for a croc, I would say it would be a lot more <laughs> because it's not leather, it's, it's uh, exotic. And yeah, this is not my style, guys. It's really not my style. I would never buy uh, something like that. I don't, it's not my style, but I found an alternative. If you like that bag, this is the option, guys. So I have found this Victoria Hyde, it's the brand. This is the Victoria 2 bag, <laughs> I don't know. Can you see, it's like croc. It, it's really fake croc, probably, but I mean, it's croc, it, look, it, it looks like croc. And it's this wine red, and you can see, it's, it's the style. They have it in different, uh, colors as well and different options, but I feel like if you really love this, this is a perfect, perfect alternative for you. So this is 124, so 124 US dollars, which is really, really nice, I would say. I mean, it looks really pretty, this bag, so it, it looks good. So if you like this kind of style, check it out. Okay, guys, let's see. I have... I came across a bag that I thought was looking like the tote bag from Marc Jacobs. So I found this, this is the blue I found because I really tried to find a blue one and this is the mini one in light blue. They came out with so many of these, the tote bag. They are so freaking popular. They are in leather, they are in raffia. I think they are raffia now that I really want. They are in fabric, they are in denim, they have a lot, and they have mini, small, medium, large. They have everything. They are just coming out with a lot of these bags. So I took this one because this is the most similar one to the option I have for you guys, but 
These are quite a good price though, if you want to look into Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs is not like a luxury luxury, but uh, I think they have done a little price increase on these bags because they are very popular. Anyways, this little bag, this is the mini in leather. So this is around 481 US dollars. So 481. Beautiful. I mean, I would not get this one in blue though. I would get this in maybe a tan, like a brown, or I would get it in a dusty light pink or just a pink, light, light pink. And or a raffia. <laughs> but yeah, I have an option for you if you like this style. So I thought this one looked very, very similar to the tote bag. It, does, it doesn't say anything, but you can see how, you know, you have some stripes, like, yeah, you can see in the front of the bag um, and the shape, and you have a thick crossbody strap. And this is also a mini bag. This is from Stradivarius, and this is just... 26 US dollars. So this is actually the cheapest one. Uh, I said the H&M one was the cheapest, but no, this one is the cheapest. 26 US dollars. But it's so cute. I mean, I like the color of this one more than actually the Marc Jacobs one. So yeah, good alternative, guys. I feel like this is a really, really nice bag if you want to if you want something similar. Okay, so I have two more bags, but I have them here actually. So I have an option for the Chanel tweed bags. I love Chanel, I love the flaps. I, I don't own any, but I love, I love how it looks and I love tweed. I am always on a hunt for a tweed bag. And I was, I bought a bag from Urban Revival. They have beautiful tweed bags there. Uh, I have another one uh, that I bought from before, but I saw this pink one and then I ordered the white one as well. So I have two. I'm just gonna put up a, a pink tweed from Chanel and a white tweed from Chanel, just so you can see the colors. And yeah, a classic flap like a tweed classic flap, if you would buy it on the website, it would be around from 6,300 US dollars to 10,700 US dollars. I mean, they are so freaking, they are so, so expensive. So I have a good option for you guys. So I'm gonna show you. So, oh my God, here they are. How beautiful. Okay, we can start with my favorite because can you see I love pink? Well, this is the tweed pink bag from Urban Revival. Look how beautiful. This tweed is amazing. This looks so, so pretty. It has some threads in it, like almost like glitter threads in it. And you can see it's quite like it's lighter and thicker ones. And this is the perfect, perfect light pink, in my opinion. So you can see the quilting here as well. And you have the classic like chain strap that you can double up or you can make it like, oh my God, cross body like that. It is beautiful. And it also has some details here around. Like it's, um, yeah, you can see, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it in English. Uh, probably not in Swedish either, but I have a little bit things in here. So it's very nice material inside as well. It is like almost like suede. I think it's like it can't be suede, but it feels like it. I don't know. And you have a little pocket here and you have a zip pocket here. And it's just gorgeous, guys. I love this bag so, so much. I have been wearing this bag so much and I absolutely adore it. And then I have this one. I haven't, uh, I have nothing in it now. So it's a little bit like flat, but it's the same here. I think they are in the same, like, yeah, they're actually almost the same. I think you can see that this one is more straight. The other one goes more like that. 
This one is also very beautiful in the tweed. I mean, it also has threads in it, like golden threads through it, and also like a beige color and also white. So that makes it a little more like an off white uh, rather than like pure white. And it has gold like details here. And you can also double it up or do it cross body. And inside it looks like this. So it's not that, this is just like regular fabric, <laughs> like cotton fabric, I suppose. The pink one has more like the suede feel touch to it. And here you don't have, you actually just have this one. You don't have a zip pocket. I noticed that now. <laughs> That is funny. Okay, so they are not like 100% uh, the same, but they are so beautiful. I love these. So these are 60 US dollars, uh, both of these. I think I got this one for a discount. You should really look up like if they have discounts because a lot of creators uh, collaborate with Urban Revival so I have always had some discounts code that I could use at the checkout and get a discount so just search or try to find someone that has a collaboration with them but I love these these are amazing amazing I love these bags okay guys this was it this was me talking about all of these bags and I hope you have been entertained for I don't know how long this video was but I am happy I could do this video but you know as I said in the beginning I am not sure I will how many videos I will have this week just so you know and yeah but it was super fun to film this video I love bags as you all know if you have been here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And yeah, have a wonderful day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And i see you in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.